We are going to explore Europa. It's an icy moon of Jupiter, about the size of our moon, with an ocean below it, we believe, that has uh, more water than twice of all of Earth's oceans combined. We're going to explore this moon to assess habitability. Does it have an environment that could actually sustain life presently? The mission itself uh, essentially started in the late 1990s with studies, but this mission was 2014 through the end of primary mission is 2034. So that 20 year period, NASA has, um, has put aside 5 billion US dollars for that effort in its totality. And right now we have about 1,000 people on it. At its peak, we had about 4,000 people across the United States and, and Europe working on it. Closing the harnesses just shows the exquisite engineering that this guy did. Let me clarify that we're not specifically searching for life with this mission. We're searching for the conditions that could allow an ocean to be habitable and Europa to be habitable. We're looking for water, we're looking for the right chemistry, and we're looking for whether the conditions for energy, the chemical energy of Europa's ocean could potentially be right to support metabolism. One of the fundamental questions that NASA wants to understand is are we alone in the cosmos? If we were to find the conditions for life and then someday actually find life in a place like Europa, then that would say, hey, in our own solar system, there are two examples of life, Earth and Europa. That would be huge for understanding how common life might be throughout the universe.